good age, Nestio. I see you got a haircut. Yeah, what do you think? Well, it looks like you got more than one cut. I know that. Yeah. What happened to your mullet? It uh, went to the mm -hmm. Five and Dime show. Ah, uh, okay. Had to put it on the clothesline hanger. Yeah. Kind of yeah. like the Liberals last the federal election, eh? I know that. Yeah. Anyways, uh, we've got a provincial election coming up, and uh, Jeff Arbus has announced his intention. What can you uh, tell me about him? I remember him uh, uh, sure about 13 years ago. I was going to Sioux College. Uh, I think he was uh, a union member. He was a rep at the time. Uh, Kelly Sweeney was the president, kind of thing. He's a very soft-spoken man, very quiet, but uh, very uh, thoughtful and uh, pretty, he's pretty uh, quick on picking up on the issues. So. Yeah. Now a lot of, you look at the last set of polls and um, none of the four party leaders provincially seem to be clicking with the electorate. All of them are polling well below their parties in terms of popularity. Um, and so it seems like this provincial election, and again, things can change, you know, we're just at the as beginning of the summer. As 1990. Yeah, uh, but it seems this, went upside down. Yeah. It seems like this election might be about the local candidate. Do you think um, your boy can do it against or is Eddie? I think so. Why? He's got a record. His record is uh, abysmal and uh, disgraceful. They, it's, it's from 1995 to 2007, a blue and blue light. Yeah. They just continue the conservative uh, mantra with hydro, deregulation, cutting on health services, and then paying themselves a $40,000 raise. Uh, yeah. uh, and meanwhile, people on minimum wage, people on welfare, people with disability, you, you got to wait. Yeah. Meanwhile, good public pol policy has to be on the on, uh, sidelines. And meanwhile, they only take care of themselves. People won't forget. Because working people are smarter than these great wingers. But it was working people that put Orizetti in. Yeah, because if everybody had 20, 20 hindsight, Pete, everybody would be winning uh, 649. But now people see a record that's oppressive. You don't want a judge makes a decision. Mm -hmm. It looks oppressive. The, the working class people like myself, and the yeah. poor, especially the 40% of the people that don't use the voter, the, the working poor and the poor, they're going to come on vote. Yeah. Because they don't like being insulted. Sure. You know, he pays himself forty thousand dollars. Doesn't sure. care. And, and Mr. Orzetti plays the dumb and says, "Oh, geez, I didn't know." Blah blah blah. Then he goes in legislature and votes for it. Now, but, what you know, you can't have it both ways. You know, switching the focus federally for a second. What exactly has Tony delivered for working class people in this riding? Well, he's done uh, uh, the budget in uh, two thousand five. Uh, the better budget, uh, Paul Martin. Turned a 4.6 billion dollar corporate budget into 4.6 billion dollars for people, and also f uh, fighting for, uh, for daycare. And it's the conservatives are stonewalling with all these progressive legislation. And Tony, he's there trying to fight to get progressive things for the people. So we 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 have to take that question and flip it towards uh, Mr. Harper. What are you doing? And he's not doing anything but lip service, blue and blue light. They're, they're well, he's given a two thousand dollar tax break per child for. Um, yeah, but that's that's just uh, that's just a, te a, te a teaser. Mm. Uh, they they, they got a, uh, a bill in the house that the NDP uh, I think it's going to go for third reading uh, uh, from Olivia Chow to bring in the uh, national child care and also Bill C thirty that's ready to be voted on and the Tories are not even bringing it back into the house for a vote. And that's for the environment. So the Tories, they like to, they're good at the smoke and mirror game, the PR stuff. But you know what? People are not buying that corporate cop anymore from the liberals and conservatives because they're like blue and blue light. So working class people will make their decision in October. But I believe they're going to vote for Canadian values, and that is the NDP values like CCF, uh, NDP Tom, uh, Thomas C. Douglas. And that's why we have the programs in, in Medicare we have today because the NDP is relevant. Liberals and conservatives are not. Ask Jimmy Gardner in Saskatchewan. He fought Tommy Douglas tooth and nail against Medicare. Yeah, so but I mean, Jimmy Gardner. Have a history. They have a history of mm. being anti-progressive. Yeah. They're a backwards party, and they don't give a rat's behind. But them. in fairness to Gardner, yeah. let's remember, he also fought uh, the Ku Klux Klan in uh, Saskatchewan when 
the Klan was at the height of its power. Yeah, but that was the right thing to do. But when, when you fight fundamentally against something that's progressive to help people to have uh, health, mm -hmm. health paid through a uh, single uh, tax payer system, and he fought against mm -hmm. that, that's a, that's a contradiction term. He did right mm -hmm. against the K KKK, but he does wrong to his own people? Like, mm -hmm. was he delusional? Did he need to go see a psychiatrist? I don't know. Yeah. Maybe that's why he's a liberal conservative. I don't know. But all I, all I know, the history of Tom Douglas, he fought two things. He fought to get Medicare, in which he did, but Jimmy Garner, all the way along, fought him, fought him, fought him. And who was he? A liberal. He should have been a conservative. The conservative and liberals should get together and become one party. They did that in British Columbia. Well, With the liberal party, they got rid of the social mm. credit. That's why uh, Campbell won, because the Tories and, and the liberals got together and to defeat the NDP. Mm. Mm. So you're... Um, you're going to be pulling for Jeff then against Orzetti? Of course. And the NDP all the way. Working class party, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, like I said, you know, we're not perfect, but I'll tell you one thing. With the history that the NDP has, uh, since the beginning of 1933 till now, the stuff we have today is because of the NDP. Yeah. The liberals and conservatives, a, a flawed tooth and nail, wouldn't have their free trade, undermines our social programs in Medicare. And who brought them in? Brian Maroney and John Kretchen. So, boom, blue light. Bye-bye. Okay, thank you very You're much. Welcome.